Hello, my name is Anthony Vadana. I work for North American Aviation for 20 years and this particular project was the most interesting. This is about Spacecraft Apollo Acceptance Checkout Equipment, ACE, called ACE. ACE was used to test the bird at North American Aviation Factory in Downey when the spacecraft was built. The test consisted of giving commands and monitoring the results. This was done automatically from the computer or manually from a person. The control room was run by a mainframe computer located in the computer room. The control room had a grouping of testing and special systems like uh, consoles, communications, and many more systems. The spacecraft was mounted on an integrated test stand and we called, called that stacks. The stacks had cabling attached to the command module, which was the cockpit of the bird. The, bun, the cabling went to the terminal, terminal room and from there connected to the control room, computer room, and the RF room. The whole setup was called the ACE station. We had three A stations in Downey, two at MSC, Texas, uh, I believe three at Grumman Factory in, in New York, and six at KSC in Florida. This shows the uh, command module and the internals of, of the bird shows all the cabling coming in and what it looked like. This is a terminal room that I was t discussing earlier and uh, these are the terminals c consoles that were in there that were connected to the other equipment. This is the cabling connectors that were used, cabling and connectors that were used there. But this is a picture of the control room. There's quite a bit of equipment there and uh, it shows all the different views of it. The control room had these uh, start modules and uh, the R start module was used to individually uh, run a test on some device. Again these are the R start modules and there's a little bit of text about it. This is a back to the room again. This is going to discuss the uh, show where the uh, K start module's at. It was located on the GNN console. You only had one in that room, and it had communicated with the uh, disk key on the uh, command module. Again, it could be run different. There's more text on this. This is the uh, disk key and the uh, Apollo computer mounted inside the bird. Some of the commands and displays and this is what it controls. And this is what it, this uh, particular device controls the uh, guidance and navigation and this is a list of equipment on the uh, ACE stations. Control room again to show the decommutation console and that was used to uh, make data readable by the computer. Again, we're, here's the computer set up. The computer room was consisted of two uh, CDC 160 computers and a con control console. And uh, this control console was uh, used with a C start module. The C start module was a combination of the R start modules and they could be used in that manner. Um, the photo of where they're at. They also had an R start module on itself. Uh, this is a picture of the, LC, the C start modules panel. And that's a, a picture of the computer with some of its peripherals. This one's a series of computers and there's peripherals, like the tape readers. And that's uh, the console for the uh, 160 computer itself. It runs it. And it's a uh, I'll show some of, the, some of the controls and lights on, on that device.
computer was programmed by these printed circuit cards that changed the program and I had it made a complete program. It was tedious to do this thing. And uh, we had these uh, operating procedures that we had to, to follow and they were had line by line items that the uh, inspectors would uh, stamp to make sure, sure that every line was covered and correct. This is a picture of the computer that of those days versus our smartphones, which would probably put 40 or 50 of those in that smartphone. Just for comparison. Now, what we use of us, uh, slide rules was what we used instead of computers. And that was done for when things f went wrong. We used to use these meters and tech testings and find out what was wrong, troubleshoot the system and oscilloscopes. And, uh, this is a picture of the moon. There's the six landings there and the astronaut with the flag. And Some people don't believe that we actually landed on the moon and I guess the Sputnik was false too. Then that means our cell phones are probably run by magic. So this is the end of my presentation. Thanks for watching.